Hello, everybody. It is Monday, August the 5th. This is Captain Marty Brill, and I'm here to talk fishing with you like we always do. But the weekend wrap-up is going to be a little bit slimmer than normal, but we do have some tournament stuff to talk about, and I'll be right back to do that. The desire for being on the water is what draws people to the Outer Banks. OBX Boat Company in Kill Devil Hills shares that desire with you. The only full-service, Yamaha-authorized dealer on the beach, OBX Boat Company is committed to providing you the best possible boat ownership experience. Their carefully selected brands of center consoles and family-friendly pontoon boats are all powered by ultra-reliable Yamaha Motors. They offer excellent financing options as well. To learn more and see their inventory, visit obxboatco.com are you ready for a fishing thrill like no other oh there he is there he is oh got him up as seen on wiki tune and outer banks the carolina girl captained by majestic jesse anderson is a custom luxurious 53 foot jared bay built boat running out of hatteras harbor marina let jesse and her crew give you a fishing experience of a lifetime to book a trip, go online to carolinagirlsportfishing.com. Carolina Girl Sport Fishing, your offshore adventure awaits. <laughs> well, as you know, the wind blew yesterday. I think we had one boat out of Oregon Inlet. I could not get a report on that for sure. I'm not even, I don't think anybody got out of Hatteras. Could be wrong, but uh, pretty quiet. Nobody answering their phones. I don't blame them. They got a day off. They're spending time with family. And the thing is, the weather's not probably not going to get any better as we progress through the week. And so offshore fishing where we had a few black fins and mahi and hatteras and a few yellow fins and mahi at Oregon Inlet, um, we're, we were starting to get a little bit of a sailfish bite. And so um, that's going to be put on hold. And to be honest with you, we're hoping that this weather will move on through the area uh, in time for us to get our ladies tournament in on Sunday. That's the Alice Kelly tournament, uh, our uh, biggest tournament on the Outer Banks as far as the number of boats. And uh, I'll talk more about that in just a second. But um, so everybody's laid up. Captain Mommy Tillett always said even the fish need a day off pretty soon. But where all this tournament stuff comes into play I talked to Captain Barry Daniels last night. He was up in Ocean City, Maryland. He is uh, probably, maybe, I better say maybe, if he could get out fishing today. Here's why. The Ocean City Tournament, the, probably the biggest billfish tournament on the Atlantic seaboard for sure, can have as many as 400 boats, millions of dollars in prize money. A lot of our local boys are up there fishing that. It was a three out of five day tournament. Fish three days, your choice, Monday through Friday. But with the weather that's coming in, they added a day to the tournament, which is Saturday. And I'll tell you why that's key. But they added an extra day. So I think a lot of them are hoping to squeeze in a day tomorrow, which would be day one of their three, and then let the storm blow through and fish Friday and Saturday to wind up, hopefully. And uh, I can't, I know that they have a lot of smaller boats than we do. And weather is really critical for the number of entrants, thus the number of prize money, thus the amount of money going to charities and into the winner's purse. But what matters to me is if they extend it by a day into Saturday, the Alice Kelly tournament, our big event that women have been planning for forever, you can't find a boat to fish in it nowadays, that's on Sunday. So uh, a lot of the Alice Kelly boats will probably be stuck in Ocean City and fishing, and I don't like it, but it's just the way it is. I'm not running that tournament, but those boats will either have to come down the coast in the dark Saturday night, which I don't like that idea and coming into Oregon Inlet in the dark and all that or cancel because a few years ago we had a similar situation we added an extra day to the Alice Kelly tournament it did not work well and as I understand it we will not be doing that this year we will do the best we can on this coming Sunday and uh, <clears throat> it'll all work out so if you know anybody in charge of weather, we could use a little help. Both tournaments could use a little help. So Alice Kelly on Sunday, and then you roll into Monday is uh, get ready day and registration for the Pirates Cove Billfish Tournament. Now that tournament will be Tuesday through Friday of next week, and you fish three out of four days. You fish three out of any four days you want to fish. So it's tournament season, and we'll keep you updated. We'll be out at Pirates Cove uh, for both Alice Kelly and the uh, Billfish Tournament all next week, and you can get updated right here you can also uh, go google fishpiratescove.com or just google pirates cove billfish tournament 
and hit the live stream or the live audio button and you can hear me all day long talking to the captains in uh on along the beach and inshore uh been pretty good i've noticed a lot of drum catches they happen to like windy stormy weather uh, i saw some a couple of big speckled trout caught in the surf but uh, the drum bite is going on almost everywhere that's the main thing um, when i say everywhere i'm gonna take a break in just a second and tell you where they're at in the sound but uh drum bite is good been a lot of small bottom fish of spanish mackerel and bluefish coming by on metal lures same thing we're talking about every day but uh it's going to get stormy and all of that will probably slow down a little bit as well so we'll take a break right here and i'll be right back to talk to you about backcountry fishing electricity something i don't mix well with at all and that's why i only trust the folks at els obx els obx offers a variety of services from custom electrical installations to lighting design els obx has the experience and know-how to complete any job they're committed to providing the highest quality lighting and electrical installations or service at affordable prices visit them online at elsobx.com to get a brighter idea of how how shockingly awesome they are. See what I did there? ELS OBX, electrical and lighting solutions you can count on. So backcountry fishing is going to be a little bit of a challenge. A lot of that drum fishing is in the Pamlico Sound. And in, <clears throat> we get winds uh, today, tomorrow, strong out of the south or southwest. That blows right up the sound, and it's not a pleasant place to be. But a lot of these guys can go launch from one side or the other, north or south, and find a lee or get up in the estuary, and they're still catching both drum and speckled trout. Uh, a lot of drum. It seems like around the inlets, the drum are hanging out. There's been some caught off the beach, some caught by our half-day boat, some caught by recreational fishermen, um, but it is, I would call it, a great summer of drum fishing so far. Then in addition to that, a sheephead bite has been really good, and these may be the only places you can fish over the next few days. You find somewhere where you're anchored down, maybe on the Bonner Bridge Pier uh, at Oregon Inlet, uh, maybe on the backside of the Sound, Roanoke Island, you can go all the way around that island and you can find the lee somewhere, and that's been pretty good on a popping cork and a white grub. Uh, been a good speckled trout bite and some puppy drum uh, there as well. So one thing about the Outer Banks, there's om- there's always a lot of weather, and but there's always someplace you can go to get out of the weather. Little Bridge on the main area of Head Causeway is a great spot uh, on any wind out of the north, but since the north side of the bridge is closed down to fishing now, it's not so great on a hard south wind. It'll be right in your face. So we'll see what happens mainly. What we're hoping is that the storm pushes on through. We don't have to move boats and go through all that. And I do feel for the folks at the Ocean City Tournament. I know what how much work. It's a year's worth of work that goes into putting something like that together. And uh, it's the nature of the beast when it comes to this time of year. So I'll keep you posted. Thank you for stopping by. And um, if anything changes, I'll let you know. 